Welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In the last session, we discussed what are the main things to write a C program. In our discussion, so the main important things are variables and methods. The reason if two programs want to communicate, so what we are using is called a methods. As generally, we can call it as a functionality or functions also. And uh, in the process of communication, so what the program sharing, nothing but a variables, properties, information we can call. Right. So now in this session, so what is a variable and what is the function? How to represent variables? How to declare variables? Right. How to define functions? How to represent functions? All these things we'll see. So first, our discussion is variable. What is a variable? So what is a variable means? So, generally, if you want to execute a program, so why we are executing the program means a processing information, just processing the data, uh, take a bank application, communication is there, they are executing one program, one transaction they are executing, why they are executing the transaction, they are processing the data, account number they will process, account name they will process, balance they will process. For every computer application, we must store the information at a particular location. See, suppose, so generally, every machine having memory locations, these are just consider memory locations, memory locations. So, every memory location is identified by an address, every memory location is identified by an address, just consider in a classroom seating arrangement, in a theater seating arrangement, is just consider a memory locations. Every memory location is identified by an address. Suppose 128, 512, 1024, 5098, 10183. All these are comes under addresses. Address we can treat like this positive integer value address is nothing but a positive integer value so now so what is the relation between variable and memory locations generally if you want to store some information i want to store a value 10 into the memory locations <coughs> just consider in a classroom or in a theater there is no restriction on the people that uh, where they can sit. So, the students entering into the classroom and no restrictions on the students. So, the students will go and sit randomly at different locations. So, by that time, so 10 also will go and store randomly at a particular location. Suppose here. Next, I want to access the data. I just want to print that information. Then how can we print? How can we print means we face the problems. Reason first of all in which location it has stored that we cannot understand because a random memory location. And second one if you want to open the memory no one can open the memory. No one can see the information. So, manually physically which is stored inside the memory we know that generally if you think. So, here accessing become very difficult after storing the information after storing the information accessing become very difficult. So, what we should do before storing information first we need to set identity to memory location set identity to memory location how can we set identities to locations here a syntax how to declare a variable how to declare a variable means in the syntax first we have to write the data type followed by so what is the variable name the name we have to write is we can call it as identifier so one example data types briefly we will discuss in the coming concepts here it is the integer as of now we know integer is a data type and variable name you can set any name for example a here a is a identity so whenever you declare a variable then it gets memory allocation to one memory location that identifier will set A. 
A is a named memory location. To the memory location, we are providing a name. So, later whenever we are storing the element, we are strictly saying you please go and store into a location which is identified by A. Here it is. So, value is a 10 and we are saying that you please go and sit into the location which is identified by A. Now, restrictions on the students. For example, in the theatres and with the seating arrangement, they will reserve one particular seat for us. So, then the strict rule is that you please go and sit somewhere on that particular seat which is allocated to you. So, later if they want to access, easily they can access. Sir, if more number of seats, they will announce in the mic simple. Identification become very, very easy. So, here, so A is equals to 10 means the 10 will go and store into this location. Later, if you want to access whatever the operations you perform, I just want to print 10, simply you can print A. Then it will go and search what is the value which has stored inside the memory location A. So, that is a 10. So, it will print the output is a 10. Okay. So, simply what is the variable finally? Named memory location. Named memory, named memory location is called variable. Right. S setting identities to memory locations by which we can process the information effectively. That is what we call the variables. And next we will see what is the method, nothing but uh, what is the function. So, now the discussion of what is the function, simple definition. So, what is the function syntax directly observe clearly block of instructions here you can write n number of instructions and it is a block. Block of instructions having identity name mandatory having identity it is taking input every function technically so we can call it as arguments list generally we can say it is an input which is taking input and processing that input this is a processing logic is a processing input and finally it should produce the output output technically we can call it as a return type generally so we can say it is output function is nothing but block of instructions having identity identity is mandatory having identity which is taking input, processing the input and producing the output. If you see example, then you will get more clarity. Just consider a block of instructions is function is add function. I want to perform addition operation, add function. If you want to perform addition operation, so what is the minimum input you have to pass? the minimum input to integers. For example, take a calculator, I want to perform addition operation, minimum two numbers you have to press or else it is not possible to perform addition operation. So, here two, two numbers we are collecting into two variables, just now we discussed variables int x and int y. Suppose, if you type 10 and 20, the 10 will go and store into x and the 20 will go and store into y. And next the processing logic int z equals to x plus y. We are adding x and y and the result we are storing into z. After processing the information, we are returning that value return z. z is of type what? integer type z is a integer type so return type is a integer block of instructions having identity addition 
right function means what it is doing one task the marker is functioning means what it is doing something what it is doing it is writing mobile is functioning means what so many functionalities are there methods are there we are calling we can message we can browse play videos games and all if the person is functioning means what i am functioning means what i am teaching i am speaking right i am watching i am reading i am walking right all these are comes under functionalities so here it is a what is a function means it will perform a particular task so here it is a add function is performing the task so what task it is performing sir addition operation is taking input two numbers it is adding and it is returning the result that's it this is what we called a function simply so finally the definition so what is a function block of instructions block of instructions having identity which is taking input comma processing the input and producing the output is the function definition and see here one more thing we have to add to the function is only if you are writing definitions of function no use the important thing is right in every program in every program along with a function definition one more thing is also important along with a function definition function call also important function call only definition you are writing no use for example calculator right so they already defined one functionality addition functionality plus button they have given in the entire lifetime of that calculator no one is using that uh, identity nothing but no one is using that button plus then what is the use of that if object is there nothing but if one physical thing is there and it is having a functionality means right everyone should use that functionality at least once in its lifetime so simply we can understand what is a functionality means just consider one electronic device best example television in our daily life we are using is an electronic device so in the background so one program is there it is running with the help of program so motherboard so basic storage capacity means what storage devices and everything will be present they already written one program how they will write means to on the television one functionality is required it's power on and next to off so generally we are using these things of logic is there and next one for example if you want to change the channel functionality is there and mostly one more thing we are using every day is a volume volume a functionality they have given logic already they have written but see only functionality is there no use if you just look at the tv will it start automatically impossible right will it change the channels automatically no along with the functionality along with the definitions of functions calling is also very very important another person nothing but another program suppose take one person take one person the person is using the remote control this is a remote controller it is also program and the person is also program and the television is also program and here it is they have to call the functions one is a on function off function and here it is a generally channels they will give like this they will give for example channel plus plus channel minus minus volume plus plus volume minus minus is a remote controller so another program should call the functionality of television from another place so whenever they click on on function so then the corresponding logic executes then the complete set of instructions execute and the system will on and whenever they click on that off then automatically off functionality executes so not only definition is important to functions along with a function calling is also important just consider somewhere 
one mobile is there. If you want to access the mobile from another place, someone should call the mobile, it is calling, right. So, here also function calling is important, I know C, but someone should ask you please teach C. So, then only there is a use of my C knowledge, someone should call. So, whenever they call, so then I will start explaining the C language. So, this is what we called executing the functionality. If I am not executing this functionality, C language I am not teaching, suppose I have the knowledge and I am not teaching to anyone, what is the use? No use. So, function definition is important, function call is also important because from the first C program, we start working with the functions that I will show you clearly, okay. So, thank you for watching, thank you all.